Have you ever wanted to become an alpha male, but looked at the characteristic or thought, ah, how can I be an alpha male without being an asshole or without being a caveman? Because I don't want to revert back to like this very mm, weird way of being a man. So if that's you, today's video is going to help you to understand what is an alpha male what is not an alpha male and we'll talk to you about the different traits that you can develop within yourself. I am Céline Rami, the Intimacy Angel. And I'm Kevin Anthony, the Truth Warrior. And if you've ever wanted to be an alpha male or looked at an alpha male and thought, how can I be like him? Then make sure that you like, share and subscribe. way why would you want to be an alpha male well that is a great question and it has a very simple answer because like it or not admit it or not ladies you all want alpha males there is some truth to that so it's an important trait to, do, to develop now we wanted to start with a little bit of a quote too Einstein said try not to become a man of success but rather try to become a man of value yeah, so why did we put that quote at the beginning of this video? Because you will see as we go through this that what we believe an alpha man is might be a little bit different than what you think an alpha man is or maybe what you've seen in other places as what is an alpha man. So let's start with a simple definition of what is an alpha male. It's a man who knows what he wants and is proactively taking steps towards getting what he wants. Exactly. So the concept here is a man who knows what he wants and he's like, okay, here's what I want. Here's how I'm going to get it. Here's how I'm going to enlist people to help me. Here's what I'm going to do myself, the steps that I'm going to take to try to achieve the goals that I want. Now that's a little bit different maybe than what you're used to hearing about alpha male. In, in the past, you've probably been told, well, alpha males, they're the ones that, that take command and they're the ones that tell everybody else what to do. And, and you kind of get the idea that they're basically an asshole. That's not what we're talking about. That may have been the old alpha man of the past, but it is not the alpha male of today. The alpha male of today is much better than that. He's more aware, he's more conscious of how his behavior affects other people but he can still take charge. So let's define what does not qualify as an alpha male behavior because I think there's still some confusion. So uh, barking out commands to people around you does not qualify as an alpha male attitude. Especially if you're barking those at your partner. <laughs> um, aggressive behaviors does not qualify as alpha male. Yeah, and this is a big one. This is what a lot of people think an alpha male is. They think the alpha male is the biggest monkey who beats all the other monkeys up until they listen to him. That is not truly an alpha male, at least not in our opinion. That might be some people's opinion, but nobody likes that alpha male, and eventually there's always a bigger, badder monkey that comes along. So that's not really who you want to be. And last but not least, any type of controlling behaviors are not an attribute of being an alpha male. As a matter of fact, all of these behaviors show that you feel very insecure and that you have a complex, so you need to do something about this insecurity by trying to show off more because you just feel inside that you're not good enough or you're not worthy. So that's not what a true alpha male is at his core. Absolutely. If you see those behaviors, it most likely is the fact that they're compensating because they want to be that person, but they're not really that person. Some of the most alpha males I have ever known in my life are some of the most quiet people that you will ever meet. 
Well, that's a good reminder. So it's not so much about all the things you project on the outside so loud that does not define that. So you can still cultivate other qualities, but we'll come back to that. So here's our first step for you to step more into your alpha male. Not yet you are more clear on what it is, why, and what it's not. Let's get to that. So number one, you need to get clear on what you want. It's a essential step that you cannot just skip over. You need to know what you want, you need to have a purpose, you need to have a vision, and you need to stick to it. Yeah, and this one is big. You can't inspire other people to help you with your goals if you don't even really know what they are. And this is true in your relationship too. If you have goals and you want your relationship to be a certain way, you can't enlist your partner to help create that relationship if you don't really even know yourself exactly what it is you're trying to create. Step number two, don't be afraid to ask for what you want. So I love this one too because it does show some vulnerability. It's not about I got to do it all on my own because I'm an alpha male, but it's like this is the vision, this is where we're going, these are my skills, and then maybe there are other people who have better strength or skills that would be more suited for the job. So I'm not afraid to ask for help, support when I need it so that I can have the best result possible. Yes, and how you ask is important, right? So. What you don't want to do if you really want to embody the alpha male is go, um, um, honey, I was wondering like, well, I was kind of, you know, thinking like, um, maybe <laughs> we could, no, no, that's not how it goes. But this is also not how it goes. All right, so here's how it's going to be. I have decided we're doing this and you have no say in it and we're going to do it whether you like it or not. No, really? that's not it either. What you do is you say, hey, I have a great idea. I've always wanted to do this and I think it would be really amazing for us and here's what I've done. I've already called and I've checked into it. I've found out all the details. Here's what it takes to do what we want to do. What do you think about that idea? Oh uh, yeah. And well no, she'll give you a piece of mine. <laughs> but you can take it. Step number three, then take steps towards what you want. And you kind of demonstrated that in how you just approached it here in terms of like once you've you've become clear on the vision once you even ask for help you've got to do the first step you can't just be like in your head being like well this is what i wish would happen but i'm too afraid to take a step you see this a lot a lot a lot where he may have the idea of what he wants to do but he doesn't take the steps to actually make it happen and I see people do this all the time. They say, well, yeah, I wanted this, but you know, it didn't happen or it's never gonna happen or the chances of it happening. And then you ask, okay, what have you done? What steps have you taken? Well, I put my intention out there into the universe and now I'm just waiting for it to happen. No, that's not the way it works. Sure, put your intention out there to the universe and then take concrete action. Take steps to make it happen. You know, you're ever too busy making excuses or making things happen. So it's up to you which camp you want to be in. Then our last step is doing all of these steps that we've just described to you and to do them with compassion rather than a controlling behavior. So it's a very important shift because oftentimes when people think about alpha, they don't associate the vulnerability piece with it and that's what was missing from the old caveman ideas and it's not sustainable and really if we were to take it down and boil it down to its essence you need to be intelligent you need to be able to activate your mental uh, gray cells right and you need to be able to connect with your heart and also touch that place of your intuition and as you are going through this you also so need to be able to have everybody's highest good in mind so that you get to create a win-win-win solution for everyone involved. And that is how you become an alpha male without being a macho asshole or a caveman. We hope today's video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share it.